I was on a walk and I saw a blackbird really close up in a bush and I thought, that's nice, I've not seen that before. So I decided to take that idea and draw it when I got home. So I like drawing animals, they're all different. I drew everyone as pigeons because we didn't have a school photo. Tea towels, they're deceptively simple, just a flat sheet of material, but they're actually quite complicated once you look deep into them. My artwork was about the Ice Palace. It was from a book that I really liked reading. I created my work in lockdown and it's a watercolour barn in a snowdrift. I really enjoyed designing and painting it. This artwork is about one of the gods in my religion. Circle, Circle. Square. Square. Triangle. I mainly use my thumb and my finger to blend all the colours together and make different shades. What tangle? Is there a what tangle? Yes. Where? There. I was going to draw a portrait of my grandma, but then I forgot to do a portrait instead of landscape and then um, I ran out of space and so it only ended up with my grandma's ankles and feet. I made a um, spoof film poster. I was trying to just say I watch film and TV but there's hardly any disabled leads and if you there is a disabled person in a film. Very often it's the cliched sort of person that you feel sorry for. I was putting myself in the lead sort of hero. I started painting um, about at the beginning of lockdown. I'm quite new to it. That's John Tucker and he's a farmer in our village. The inspiration behind painting him was how he looked, so he's a really nice person to capture and he's really natural and really kind and um, someone who didn't really want a painting of himself necessarily, which made it even more rewarding when he got one of himself. It just feels amazing, great that my art is on a wall in one of the best galleries in London. I felt really happy and proud because I wanted to give up at one point and then my mum kept on encouraging me. I like seeing what other people have been up to. I've been getting really good ideas. When I found out my work was accepted, um, I was really happy. I've been inspired to do lots of different types of art now. I didn't know if, if it was like real or a dream. It's given me lots of confidence that I can do my art knowing that people are going to like it. My grandma's feet is in the Royal Academy. I was kind of more excited to see other people's work than my own here. I'm ready for something new and this has been a perfect way to do that. It's mind-blowing that I have it here. It feels like, whoa, that was amazing.